The Hoch Tirol is a Skimo Traverse that connects Antal and South Tirol via Großer Geiger and Groß Venediga to the, up to the highest mountain in Austria, Großglockner. It's about 100 kilometers long, 10,000 meters of climbing, and usually it takes six days to complete the challenge. You sleep in multiple huts, it's high alpine terrain, you have crevasses, you go over glaciers, it's really remote and uh, it's really exposed. My French friend, François Vadim and me, we wanted to do it in one push. I'm always super motivated for to join uh, some adventure project and especially uh, with Philip. And uh, in ski mountaineering for me it's, it's the first time that I will uh, I will need a very very long uh, long experience and long adventure so I'm super happy and super motivated even if at the beginning the weather was not very very good it was uh, a bit snowy rainy and we know that uh, more we will get high more it will be very cold so it was a bit stressful but uh, we were very, very, very happy to be there. Yes, somehow we managed to find our way down the couloir, so we basically go ski down like this. The two or three first ascent and descent, it was uh, very difficult and very stressful because we can not see anything and uh, the, only, uh, the, only many, the only thing that we have is to, to see our watch and to, to, follow, the, to follow the line on, on the single watch. So it was for us uh, a bit difficult, but we know that the blue sky will arrive and the forecast will change. And uh, another pass up, uh, quite a long downhill up to Essner Hospitalite. Our friends waited there, so it was really cool to see my girlfriend Caroline there, and uh, also uh, my friend Paul Kuschelbauer was waiting to join us a little bit for the climb to Große Geiger. Hello! Yes. Stücke habt ihr schon geschafft? Ja? Jetzt kommt endlich hoffentlich das schöne Wetter. When we arrived at the first stop, the first hut, uh, we were very really happy because we know that uh, the main difficult part about the weather was behind us. And we go to the hut and take a glass soup, then take a pasta, and we we stop maybe a bit longer than expected. And when we start again, we say, "Wow, it's already like 45 or one hour." Uh, that we are in, inside and, and so we were a bit heavy but uh, I think this stop was really important for, for all the team uh, together. The climb to Großer Geiger, Großer Geiger is 3360 meters high so it starts quite flat and then it steepens up And uh, what was really cool that once we arrive at the steep part, the weather cleared up. So from really foggy and misty, uh, ugly weather, it became blue sky, the clouds were moving around really fast, the sun came through and it's all very really, really motivating when, when you can see the sun. Eh? It opens your heart, your motiva motivation rises and it was the same there.
altitudes, but feel the sun, which is nice. blown away not only blown away by the beauty of the landscape but also blown away by the actual wind and from there you can call it good or bad you can see all the way almost all the way where we started up to the point where you have to go to post post dock now which is you see that you have only done this bit so that was about five hours in and it's quite a long way to go I just look what time is it. <laughs> if you want to see the sunset at the top, so you have to go fast. At the end of the day, we start a very, very long ascent to the glacier, and yeah, because we, we like the last light of the day, we really want to, to be at the top of the glacier uh, just for the last light, but uh, finally, we were too slow <laughs> and we miss it. But uh, we have some very good light and a very nice ascent and uh, the beginning of the night was uh, wonderful for me. Luckily I was, had checked the route, the downhill, to Inakschloss and Materia Townhouse uh, one week before. So then we could just follow the GPS track from one week ago on the way down to avoid the crevasses. Skiing down in the dark with crevasses Ah, it's not, not uh, very funny. In Inakschloss you have to skate for like five or six kilometers to my tower house. That was our big checkpoint uh, where my girlfriend, Caroline, was waiting again and all the crew. So we got really, really good support there. Good! Good! good. But it's just halfway, huh? <laughs> <laughs> really really well and uh, we had a little nap there like 20 or 30 minutes uh, because it was already quite a long day and we knew that this was just halfway like meditation you go you hear the sound of your steps it was around 2000 meters to Rudolfshütte and I already started to feel my stomach very very painful 
So I couldn't eat anymore, I couldn't drink that good anymore. I tried to force myself to get some fuel in, but it's difficult because you feel the pain and uh, you are, everything is sore. And yeah, when it's hard to find a good balance between how much can I eat before it's really, really painful, but you know you need to eat something to have energy. And uh, at Rudolf's Hütte, I definitely had my very, very low, but it's not over there. Huh? You see that summit? We were there yesterday just before the night. With you, huh? Yes. You remember? No. No way. Give it to me. It's not often that you can see his eyes like that, huh? As you can see, it's a hard day. Hard way. <laughs> We continued, then you start to feel a little glimpse of the morning. Darn is, is rising and this is really, really a cool moment. It really motivates yourself um, once the, the sun comes over the first mountains, the first sunrise hit your, hit your face, your tired face and it's like, oh, it's there. And uh, that was really, really good for me because uh, I had absolutely no energy anymore. Um, but you know, <laughs> if you want to complete the challenge, you have to push forward. See already the ghost block now, but you're not there yet. And uh, yes, and then the final meters to Atlas Hue, which is the last, the last hut before the ghost block now summit. I was dead. I was totally dead. I can't remember that I have been that dead in my life. Ich bin zerstört. Zero energy, nothing left. And you see up there it was clocking and you know it's 300 meters to go. And if you want to successfully complete your project, you have to go up there. And it's a mental fight. It's a fight. And you try to um, convince your body Okay, I will not stop, I will not stop. But after 20 steps, my body said, no, I can't anymore. So for me, there was a totally new feeling. at the top and you're like it's done so the emotions are overwhelming you have no words almost anymore and you are super tired at the same time well we didn't complete it in 24 hours it originally planned we needed around 7 27 hours but for me it was still a success and uh, it's really cool to have the Hochte Hall done in one day with together with Francois which is uh, yeah really cool uh, and very strong friend. Thanks for the war. Au revoir.